impossible as it sounds. This is a carryover of something that should have been dead 65 million years ago. Bob, listen to yourself. Um, you are a distinguished physicist, engineer, lawyer, and you are sitting here telling me that there's a dinosaur in this lake. Not quite. I'm saying there's a remnant, of, there was a remnant of one, at least in 1975. Absolutely telling you that. That was 60 Minutes' Scott Pelley interviewing late MIT scientist Bob Rines back in 2001 about his belief in the Loch Ness Monster, Scotland's most famous and enduring mystery. That's what you actually saw? Yes. How big was it? Or as big as a bus? Well, it's back in the news again. Thanks to a discovery made thousands of miles away. Nessie, as she's known, has been part of Scottish folklore for centuries, becoming a worldwide sensation in 1933 after a series of alleged sightings and photographs. Looking for a plausible explanation, some claimed she was the descendant of the plesiosaur, a long-necked aquatic dinosaur. And that idea just became a bit more plausible. Paleontologists working in Morocco's Sahara Desert found evidence that plesiosaurs not only lived in oceans and seas, but in fresh water too. We found some plesiosaurs in an ancient riverbed, which was a little surprising. They're in a freshwater environment, and this is a group that was thought to be mostly marine, and it indicates this group was able to come specialized to exploit freshwater environments. Nick Longrich is a paleontologist at England's Bath University and the lead author of a report on the fossil find. We found a lot of different plesiosaur fossils in this freshwater deposit. We found juveniles, we found adults, we found bones, we found teeth that they lost, they shed their teeth, kind of like sharks. So we found a lot of fossils suggesting these things were up there routinely and probably spent much, if not all, of their lives in freshwater. <laughs> Despite the discovery, most scientists still doubt that an ancient dinosaur could have survived in the dark and frigid waters of Loch Ness, which was only formed 10,000 years ago during the Ice Age. But that likely won't convince the true believers, including the thousands of camera-toting tourists who line the loch every year, looking to capture the creature and prove the legend is real. 66 million years ago, the asteroid hits all these things go extinct, including the plesiosaurs. As a scientist, I can never say anything is impossible. All hypotheses are on the table and at some level until they're proven false. We could find the Loch Ness Monster tomorrow. It could be a plesiosaur. I think that is, however, extremely unlikely, given the evidence we have at this point. <laughs> but there's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> Isn't that fascinating? I know it is. The pictures are not convincing, but I mean, the people who, have, who, who claim to have seen right. this creature they, they seem to be pretty adamant about it. And now with the teeth and the fossils and the things that you found saying, okay, well, if plesiosaurs were freshwater animals or dinosaurs, then what? Possible. I believe. It's possible. Anything's possible. It is. There it is. <laughs>